First at noon, police opening a barrage of bullets on a suspect in a shootout. The tense moments captured on camera, and today the scene covered in bullet casings, and the investigation into what happened is just getting started. Police say he was wanted by the FBI. The suspect armed with an assault rifle, taking police on a chase, then ended with a shootout. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live near the scene in Miami with the latest on the investigation. Peter? Well, Maribel, we can tell you that until just a few moments ago, this was a very active scene. The law enforcement source tells CBS4 that the shooter was wanted for a home invasion from Wednesday in Miami, in which a man was sexually assaulted. That source also tells us that as many as 18 officers were involved in this incredible shootout. Alma Aguirre cannot believe what she is seeing from her balcony as her cell phone captures the sounds of gunfire. Nearly a minute here at Northwest 7th Street and 72nd Avenue, the shots are fired. It was no nine nine millimeters. It was, it sounded like a, like a machine gun. It sounded like somebody was going to die. A gunshot could have hit me. Could have hit anybody in the area. He could have hit a cop. He could have hurt somebody really bad. Chopper 4 reveals a stunning sight, dozens and dozens of markers showing shell casings. On the ground, you see the bullets that entered the shooter's silver Nissan Altima. CBS 4 was there as officers removed a weapon from the car. The FDLE says police were pursuing the suspect because he was involved in a hate crime and say he opened fire on them first. Just about 180 shots going out. Bah, 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 bah. The subject of this case fled the scene and he was armed. Law enforcement officers from the city of Miami, the FBI and Miami-Dade Police Department exchanged gunfire with this subject and the subject is now deceased. The shooter, 44-year-old Alexander Carbaido, was just released from prison in July and was wanted for sexually assaulting a man in Miami on Wednesday during a home invasion, according to our law enforcement source. He started a Facebook page a week after he got out of prison. Records show that Carbaido had served nearly 10 years for carjacking, aggravated assault on a police officer, and fleeing and eluding police. This witness will not forget these images. We got to thank God that, you know, we're all alive because dangerous people like that could have anybody killed. Now, the FDLE says that no one in the public or in law enforcement was injured. Our law enforcement source tells us that police recovered both an AK-47 and a rifle from the shooter's car. But at this point, it's not clear if police killed him or if the suspect took his own life. We're live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Maribel.